Hey everyone, welcome to another great episode of Content and Links. And today I wanna to tell you how to get image snippets on mobile. So one thing I recently realized, I was looking through mobile results uh, on my phone and there was a, a lot of people were getting image snippets of their articles, but not all of them, around 50% would. And in some of the sites we worked on, uh, I was trying to figure out what patterns were actually driving that in general. And this is the kind of thing I think SEO in general you should do is look for patterns of what is causing ranking and what's not causing ranking. And this is a relatively new thing on mobile. So it's a new pattern that you should try and solve for. So in specifically, there are two elements that I'll talk through uh, regarding image snippets. One is to get a carousel and one is just to get an image at, at all. So I'll start with just a basic getting an image at all. And how to do that is functionally give Google the confidence that it's exactly whatever the keyword is that you're searching for. If you were using image recognition technology, you'd be able to pull that out with some kind of strong confidence interval. So what that means in an example would be a high contrast image of the keyword, ideally centered by itself on a white background and or bright background. So why this matters is if you're Google and you're looking at a pair of running shoes and there's a single running shoe and it's a, the search is best running shoes, for example, you have a single running shoe in the center, maybe it's purple, there's a white background on the back of it, you can have strong confidence that this is a, in fact a running shoe. And for when I, I noticed in the kind of search results I saw, it's the people that did not get those running shoes or equivalent shown in the search results was they were somewhat muddy in, in some way. So maybe there were multiple running shoes in the background. Maybe part of the running shoe is kind of spliced into the shot on the right, maybe a bit on the left. It wasn't centered. Maybe there was a, no clear focus, or con, and that's why I say contrast. There wasn't a focus on the shoe or the, the keyword in the center. And if I'm in recognition technology, I'm not as confident that this would solve for this kind of thing. And, you, and not only from getting this image snippet, maybe there's something to this actually being a ranking factor. I can't, I haven't done any studies on this, but you could see it's the reality of this person actually has this keyword, it matches the user intent above the fold. Google probably knows, and there are several studies that support a clear colorful image of above the fold drives better engagement, therefore is gonna be more likely to uh, get people to click and actually stay on on site and potentially buy from their ads, uh, this kind of thing is, the, is seemingly driving the confidence that that, that will work uh, from an image snippet perspective. So one thing I've seen for this is if you're in this best running shoes situation, people have put several running shoes above the fold. And unfortunately, that is kind of a disconnect from exactly what they're trying to do. So if you solve for this with your images and you're going to be more likely to get that snippet specifically from that single thumbnail perspective. Uh, and, and the good news is you can test this relatively easily and do that with, with some frequency. So we actually, since I originally tweeted about this and it had pretty good engagement, we did some tests on our own sites. And one thing that actually helped solve for this in a nice way is we added some JSON LD code that actually added a thumbnail URL to our source code that further gave some confidence interval to Google that this is a thumbnail. And often Google actually seemingly was pulling another thumbnail as well. So we'll show you the code for that to throw into your own sites to potentially help that confidence interval. But I don't think it's absolutely required in order to get this. Not everyone is using JSON LD code in order to get the, the, this code uh, on their site. So uh, the second part of this is functionally an image carousel. So something I also saw on plural type keywords is Google is often pulling several image thumbnails. So this is almost the same concept multiplied but adding another layer. And this is like advanced quick answer. Functionally to get quick answers, you need to structure your page in a way that is simple and easy for users to understand. So to get a image carousel for these plural type keywords, what you wanna do is have a very simplistic structure. So if it's, if it's the best running shoes example, you would wanna do best running shoes or whatever very equivalent, close title as the post title. And then the first H2 might be one Nike blank. And it's a very clear image of that shoe and then a paragraph and then two Adidas Y. 
and basically another photo structured and looking the exact same way, a paragraph of that shoe, or not a paragraph, a paragraph describing that shoe. You can see that consistency and structure is gonna be more likely to give them confidence that this is a list of the best running shoes to therefore pull that into the image carousel. The contrast to this that will actually hurt your ability to get pulled into this would be if there is inconsistent structure in how that's, that's happening. So a few ways I've seen this happen would be a result where it says purple flowers is maybe an H2, and then there's an H3 that says one purple flower type X. And that actually is a not simplistic structure for a set of flowers. You can see how that might confuse and make it harder for them to pull that out with consistency. Another issue I've seen is that people maybe don't have an image on every single item there. So you do things to do in New York City and you only have a photo of maybe 20 of the 35 things to do, there's probably a pretty good chance they're not gonna pull that out into an image carousel because of that. So make a consistent and uniform post in terms of structure, make it simple, use images that have high contrast or centered and uh, are simplistic in, in matching the keyword that you are trying to rank for. And there's a pretty good chance you'll solve for that and get those image snippets. And maybe if we're lucky, that'll indirectly be a ranking signal, but at very worst, that probably will help our click-through rate and therefore our traffic thereby. So hopefully this was useful for you. If you've had your own success in getting image snippets in some way or seen some results from this testing, would love to hear them in the comments. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching.